Hey Ranger Nation, welcome back to another Power Rangers review, episode 17, Our Hero, which we find our heroes are actually now trying to reap the benefits, well one particular ranger is reaping the benefits of being a Power Ranger, which to be fair, you have never really kind of seen, not that I can remember, but if you remember, let me know down below in those comments and tell me what you think about this episode. So this entire episode wasn't too bad. I found myself kind of going in and out, like not really kind of paying attention, which is all fine. Um, you know, that's kind of standard, but I found this episode to be kind of a bit dull. Considering what we'd had previously, I feel like this episode wasn't doing as as great as it was and i feel like it could have been a bit better so let's kind of break through it so we have the rangers they are kind of like relaxing at the beach kind of having their time and ion is like saying like oh you know you can do this you can do that um you know i didn't know this was around which then makes the rangers talk about ice cream which then makes harvey and ion go off to get ice cream but in the end something happens and the cart goes straight down and it almost like hurts someone or kills someone and Ion saves it and he gets free ice cream for life and he's never had this sort of perk before so it kind of starts going toward uh, going to his head and stuff like that which I thought was okay because you know it's, it's something different at least and I think if you're a hero and you've been doing stuff then it's completely a little bit different at least and you know that's okay after ion saved the the people and they've moved on uh we get a monster which i don't think his name pops up in the episode not that i could hear anyway but the rangers uh, are not able to morph so they obviously hide in a pub uh, hide in the changing rooms and then suddenly they come out all morphed ready to fight and one thing that kind of like gets me a little bit is the fact that Jane and Jay Borg, they've been in here. At the very beginning, Jay Borg ate a load of ice cream, which was she told Jane not to do it, or she couldn't do it, and then obviously it's hijinks and stuff like that. But then like Jane kind of records the fight going on. As people get captured in net and stuff like that, the like Ion saves them. And then for some strange reason, Jane thinks it's okay to get loads of selfies and video footage while the other rangers are fighting this monster. And Ion's like, yeah, let's take loads of selfies and he's posing. And I generally was just like, why would you do that for your team? Like you blamed Zato for not leading the team properly previously. So why would you then let all this fame? You'd be like, guys, after the, like, after you know, we've defeated the monster or the monster's disappeared. It, to me, just felt very kind of weird. Like, I wouldn't do it. I would concentrate on my friends defeating the monster. So Ion transforms using the flame key. He then becomes his power, a powered up mode. And at the end, when the monster runs away, you know, he goes back to taking selfies and doing the poses and stuff like that, which again, wasn't too bad. I just, it felt very kind of, eh. Eh, I say. Yeah, I, I, it just, it felt kind of off. The monster's name is Troller and, you know, everyone's taking the mick out of him because he can use nets and Void Knight has an idea and it's like, okay, I can get that. And he's like, you know, don't take the piss because at the end of the day, nets can be very useful if you use them in the right way. And they come up with a plan, which I'm going to talk about in a minute because video review. <laughs> um... A beach party is going on and it's for the rangers and it's like hey come down to do this like uh, it basically reminds me of power ranger day back in mighty morphing which i generally thought was kind of really cool so the rangers and everyone is invited down to this beach party slifer and troller are actually down there and ion even though the, all the others aren't gonna do it ion teleports morphed straight onto the uh onto the stage and he starts posing and everyone's like oh yeah this is really cool and he, he's loving it he is absolutely loving it and i think one of the things that made me laugh in this episode is zato is like he goes like oh he wouldn't do it he wouldn't do it and then as soon as he teleports on he's like oh he did it and i was just like that's something that i would say i i totally would have said something like that so it kind of made me laugh when i when i heard that point so when Ion calls his Zord, uh, Troller actually catches it with a big net and they decide to take it away. And, you know, the whole ruse has been about like Cypher comes out and he's like, ha ha, I've tricked you. So Cypher then tries to hypnotize the uh, Zord to make it be evil and says he, he's going to do it. But 
it's not going to work. There are henchmen around. Void Knight comes in and like Slifer talks about his uh, kind of his role, what he's going to do, or what he's going to do to the Zord. And then the Rangers at back at the base are kind of like talking about things going on. Ion's like, you know, I shouldn't have done this. Like, you know, it's my fault. Javi comes up with a great kind of idea and says, look, you know, I'm going to use this um key which will make me invisible we'll get the zord back you know you can distract them i'll take them out and stuff like that and which it normally happens which carries on which we see quite a bit of which was kind of nice we get a new zord com uh, combination called the electro zord uh, or electro mega zord whatever it is and you know it's a combination between the fire zord i can't remember dynametric as well as ion zord and they combine together and it looked really weird to me. I really don't like the kind of walking thing. It reminds me of a really bad T-Rex. So I generally didn't like this part. But kind of wrapping up the entire episode. Ion says that he's not going to do it. He then turns around to the ice cream guy and says like, Hey, I'm going to stand in line. I'll do what I want. You know, I, I think I'm going to pay for all this. And, you know, the, the guy's like, are you sure? Like, you've got free ice cream for life. He's like, no, no, I'll wait for everyone. And then decides to give him a hand because he's too busy. And that's pretty much the entire episode. So, my thoughts. I, I didn't, I wasn't kind of drawn into this episode. I thought I would be. I thought that I would generally really like it. But I felt like it was more kind of a filler episode. And since it's the se episode 17, we're not too long until the end of the season. So, for me, I wasn't. A huge fan of this I, I thought it was an okay episode it showed character development but not as much character development as I thought there would be um, you know it it taught the Rangers how to be like hey you know this you know you shouldn't be using this for your personal gain you know look out for your friends etc etc I think the only thing I did kind of like is the fact that there was a bit of humor in this that it did kind of make me laugh I think there was another part but I can't remember which one it was, so it obviously wasn't that great. But I love Zeta, and he's like, oh, of course he did. Yeah, it just, it just made me giggle. Uh, the the reference to Power Ranger Day, kind of really liked that. Thought that that was a really good kind of episode. And yeah, I think that is uh, pretty much it for most of them and stuff like that. So yeah, it wasn't a bad episode. It just wasn't as good as what I thought it would be. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to leave it there. I, have you seen this episode? What did you think? Do you think it was as strong as the others or do you think that this was kind of a weak episode? Let me know down below in the comments. And if you like this sort of content and you want to see more, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button as well as that cheeky notification bell to be notified when more videos drop. Thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you